evening folks and welcome to this more in-depth demo of my Casio AT552 Janus calculator watch. Now this is a gesture controlled touchscreen calculator watch from 1984 can you believe it and you might wonder why this technology wasn't more widely adopted back then since we find it so useful today and uh, and the simple answer is that it was not particularly robust or reliable technology back then. Um, so the Casio watches of the time um, used a capacitive touchscreen, which is basically a, a bit of glass with a, a thin transparent coating of conductive material on the top, which is um, formed into cells. And then each of those cells is connected by a, a thin line of that same conductive material um, across the edge of the glass to a controller underneath. Now I'm just going to try and illuminate those lines. Can you just see them there? So that's some of the lines from some of the cells there. I think there's some more on the other side there. So you can't really make out the cells so well individually, but you can make out the lines connecting them. And obviously if one of those gets scratched, um, that cell's no longer going to work. And sadly, that's happened on this TC600. It's obviously picked up a scratch somewhere and the number four button doesn't work. So all the ones around it work, but not the four itself. And uh, perhaps for that reason, I don't know, but certainly the beauty of the Janus calculator watch is that um, you, because it relies on gestures, there's no one single cell is required to input a number. And obviously a calculator with the number four button not working is not a great deal of use. Um, whereas this one doesn't suffer the same problem. So I'll just do an example calculation. You can see you've got the little uh, triangles appear there. You've got a certain amount of time to do your gesture. I'll just do another one, one plus, oh it's picked up that as a times actually. You can undo it by just pressing this button, that undoes the last input. So I'll try that again, plus, oh no I did that too slowly. <laughs> right. Try again, plus, there we go. And then we'll say seven, and then equals eight. So that's how it works. It's not completely foolproof. Um, you do have to actually do the gestures in a certain way. So for instance, um, the number of eight, you've got to draw two circles rather than if you actually draw a figure of, an eight, figure of eight, it doesn't tend to work too well. Uh, and similarly with some of the other numbers, you, generally if you start from the top and work your way down, it works quite well. But if you do, just draw them randomly, um, it's quite sensitive to how you draw them. So yeah, that's the calculator function. Um, back to the main time mode, so you've got the 24 hour time across the top there, or if you press this button it will show the date, because obviously you've got the, the time at the bottom there. Um, so kind of a dual time mode there. Obviously you've got the calculator function itself. Uh, it's also got an alarm and a stopwatch. A single button to operate the stopwatch, start, stop, and then hold it down to reset it. So that's it. The Casio AT552 Janus watch from 1984. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.